AGL Energy has rejected the 5 billion Australian dollars, 3 dollars, 6 billion, takeover bid jointly made by Canada's Brookfield Asset Management and Grok Ventures, the investment vehicle of Australian tech billionaire Mike Cannon Brooks, over the weekend, saying the offer was too low. Under the proposal sent to AGL Energy, Australia's biggest power producer, on Saturday morning, Brookfield and Grok Ventures offered to buy 100% of AGL for 7 Australian dollars. 50 a share, which was a 4.7% premium to the stock's closing price of 7 Australian dollars. 16 on Friday on the Australian Bourse. The stock jumped as much as 13% to an intraday high of 8 Australian dollars. 09 in Sydney trading on Monday. The proposal does not offer an adequate premium for a change of control and is not in the best interests of AGL Energy shareholders, AGL Energy Chairman Peter Bodden said in a statement on Monday. Under the unsolicited proposal, the board believes AGL Energy shareholders would be foregoing the opportunity to realize potential future value via AGL's proposed e-merger as both proposed organizations pursue decisive action on decarbonization. AGL Energy proposed in March to split the company in. The demerger is progressing well and on track for completion by June this year, it said. Under the proposed the merger, both AGL Australia and XL Energy will develop renewable and flexible electricity generation capacity with AGL Australia building 3 gigawatts of new capacity by 2030 and XL Energy supporting 2. 7 gigawatts of projects in the pipeline, according to AGL Energy. T. Apart from the proposed purchase price of AGL Energy, the consortium said it's planned to accelerate the company's transition into cleaner fuel, achieving net zero emissions by 2035, will require about 20 billion Australian dollars in investments, the partners said. The consortium remains optimistic that an agreement can be reached with AGL Energy, they added. This proposal will be cheaper, cleaner and more reliable energy for customers, Cannon Brooks, an advocate for sustainable development had pledged in October to donate 500 billion Australian dollars to non-profit Sasiki. It will create over 10, 000 Australian jobs and ensure customers don't bear the brunt of higher power prices, a likely scenario if the proposed e-merger happens.